Yay! What's up, Blue Sky? Welcome to the stream. And happy Thursday to you. Let's play Fall Guys tomorrow. I'll stream Fall Guys tomorrow. Thanks for the like, Blue Sky. Let me just set up the stream. I'm having a last song syndrome of Linkin Park's uh, Leave Out All The Rest. I'm not sure why. <laughs> but anyway. Okay, let me just set up the stream. Leave out all the rest Leave out all the rest And of course, we have a Paul on the blue platform. By the way, we have news right now. We're not st streaming on black anymore because the ombre, ombre platform already allows live streaming. So I'm trying uh, the ombre platform tonight. So later, I'll mention what are the platforms that we're currently streaming. But anyway, yeah, let me just set up the poll on the blue platform. There. Cool. Okay. Uh, anything else that I've missed? I think we're good. Let me just go ahead and share the stream. After this, uh, we can start the flight. Just uh, one quick share. Let's go. Cause when my time comes, get around it. Is that the right lyrics? Da 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 doing I need to share okay one more well uh, technically two more <laughs> leave out all the rest leave out all the rest oops wrong And on the red platform, we also have to share this one. Share, share, share. Share on Discord. Oops, no. Cool. Okay. Let's open the stream now. 
Uh, hey Jess, what's up? Thanks for the like. Team LKV is also in the house. Thanks for uh, the like as well. Rina Quintos, thanks for the share. What's up? We have two streamers in the house. We have Jess Stefani and Team LKV. Um, Jess Stefani streams on the blue and purple platforms. Team LKV streams on the blue platform. Don't forget to also support them. Thank you very much. What's up? What's up, Rina? JP, what's up? Jess, thanks for the share. Mod Rebecca, thanks for the share. Oh, welcome, Mod Rebecca. Happy birthday, Kuya Bud. Thanks for the share, huh? <laughs> Jabby Airplane, correct. Hey, Echo Navarro, what's up? Watching from Isabella, my cousin, uh, Buro. Zandro Miguel Dio, what's up sa'yo, Buro? Merry Christmas, Kuya. Happy holidays din sa'yo, Jess. Thank you, thank you sa pagdaan. Happy na birthday mo, Katina. Oh, sa'yo, Mod Rebecca. Happy birthday, <laughs> Thank you, thank you, Team LKV on the purple platform. Yun din pala, meron na rin parang ano, purple platform sa Team LKV. Please support him as well. Advanced Merry Christmas sa rin. Justify rin yung Team LKV. Yan, thanks for the tag, Mod Rebecca. Wala nang pasok, Mod Rebecca. Nakatambay na ulit si Mod Rebecca. Ayan. So, welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to Borch Gaming Channel. And this is our Flight Thursday stream of Microsoft Flight Simulator. We are flying the 38th leg of our Jollibee World Tour. So our, our flight for tonight will be from Tegucigalpa, Hondu Tegucigalpa Honduras to uh, Tuxtla, uh, Tuxtla Guevara, Mexico. So we're uh, flying to Mexico tonight. It's our first time actually in Mexico. Jane, what's up? Happy Thursday din sa'yo. Jane is the wife of Team LKV again on the blue and purple platform. So before anything else... Uh, we are multi-streaming or simulcasting on five different platforms. We're not simulcasting on black right now. Uh, we're trying out the Ombre. The Ombre platform because they already allowed live streaming there. So we're streaming on the blue platform, purple, red, uh, green, and the Ombre platform. Go figure out what the Ombre platform is. But if you want to check out all my so social media accounts, you can head on over to my bio. Uh, access the link space there and you'll get access to uh, uh, all my social media accounts. Thank you, thank you in advance. Jane Vizmanas, thanks for the like. What's up? Namiss nyo ba ako? Hindi. Sorry. Hindi ako nakadaan last week. Okay lang. Okay lang, Mabibeka. I know you've been busy at school, eh. Especially, di ba? Um... During the end of the year, most of the time, there are a lot of projects now. So that's fine. At least you don't have classes anymore. And it's uh, how many days before Christmas? Four. Well, four days before Christmas. So happy holidays, everyone. Advance. Happy, uh, ha happy. happy holidays. Actually, this is my last day at work. Tomorrow, I don't have work anymore. So it's going to be a vacation. Uh, a long holiday vacation for me. So I will be on vacation until the 1st of January and will be back at work on the 2nd of January. So, thanks, Jane, for the share. Yan. Cool. Did I miss anything? Wala na, no? Okay. Cool. So, I think we're ready to begin our flight. Um, We are flying the Airbus A320 NEO developed by Fly by Wire Simulations and we're using the Jollibee livery developed by Night Fury 08 available for download on flightsim.eo. So, this Jollibee livery actually is special because as you can see, we have our logo just beside the window right there so that was developed by night fury zero so again thank you thank you to night fury you can check out this page on the blue platform we will also be flying on vatsim tonight so we're online on vatsim our call sign is jollibee 27 or that's juliet oscar lima 27 so if you fly on vatsim you'll be able to see us online right now here in Tegucigalpa, Honduras. So again, we will be flying to Tuxla, Mexico tonight. Hey, Goy, what's up? Thanks for the like. What's up? Where? I don't know. Oh, my God. Cool. So I guess we are... Uh, we're good, no? Yeah, I think we can go ahead and fly now. So let's uh, prep our aircraft now. I forgot to actually... Ooh, someone actually messaged me on that sim. That's uh, Sir Henry was up. Uh, Bangkok approach controller. Magandang gabi, Sir Borge. What's up, lumipad tayo. Yes! We will be flying tonight, Sir Henry. J-West 5 Henry. 
He's also a streamer on uh, the Red platform, so go ahead and check out his uh, channel as well. Jomel Waza! We have another streamer in the house, Jomel, on the Blue platform. Please uh, don't forget to support as well. What's up, what's up, Jomel? Thanks for dropping by. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Mga kanta. Okay, so I guess we're good. Uh, let me just refresh GSX Pro. Um, let me just uh, reload the scene brief because we uh, generated our flight plan via scene brief. So there, 170 packs, almost full house. Maximum passenger capacity for our Airbus A320 is 174. So we're just missing four passengers. So we're almost full for this flight. Um, let's now switch to the external view so we can switch to the cockpit view. So we're currently here at Tegucigalpa. Uh, Honduras. If you watched the last stream, we actually had difficulties landing here. So hopefully, we're, ho hopefully the next landing or our landing for tonight will be better than uh, the last time. Jamel, thanks for the like. Zero Adabas, thanks for the like as well. Welcome to the stream. Sir Henry, what's up? Yes, magandang gabi rin saya, Sir Henry. Don't forget again to support J West Five Henry on the red platform. Thank you, thank you, Sir Henry, for tuning in and uh, have fun controlling uh, approach uh, in in Bangkok. <laughs> the CPT uh, certified Bangkok approach controller, JOS Five Henry on the red platform. Okay, so let's now prep the aircraft. Let's go inside. Um, let me just uh, show you our flight plan for tonight. So again, we are online on VATSIM. Our call sign is going to be Jollibee 27 or that's Juliet Oscar Lima 27. And that's going to be our flight number as well. We will be flying the Airbus A320neo again developed by fly by -Wire Simulations. Our flight for tonight will be from Mike Hotel Tango Golf or Toncontin International Airport here in Tegucigalpa, Honduras. And we will be flying to Mike Mike Tango Golf. Uh, which is the ICAO for Angel Albino or Angel Albino Corzo airport in Tuxla Guevara, Mexico. Total flight time will be um, 1 hour and 45 minutes, but that includes the block time. Um, our alternate airport will be Mike Mike Victor Alpha in case we will not be able to make it in Tuxla. Uh, fictional company route is, of course, uh, Tegucigalpa to Tuxla Gutierrez. Zero fuel is 60.4, cost index 10. Our average wind uh, will be blowing. Will be blowing from heading 279 er uh, with ooh, 26, wind, 26 knots of wind. Our cruising altitude will be flight level 360. So for the route of here in Tonkontin International Airport, we will be taking off from runway 02. We will be flying the Vitan 1 Delta departure uh, to Vitan. And then we will be flying to um, El Salvador VOR via the uh, Uniform Alpha 754 Airways. And then we will be tracking La Aurora VOR via the Uniform Gulf 436 Airways. And then to Kesley via the Uniform Alpha 552 Airways. And then um, in uh, Tuxla, unfortunately, we don't have a standard terminal arrival there. So we will be flying direct to the airport but our approaches for now we are expecting ILS 2 runway 33 so that's gonna be our flight plan for tonight if you want to fly with me if you're online on VATSIM you can follow the same hey Kyla what's up thanks for the share yes team LKV is also on the red platform nadaanan ko na ombre blue purple red pati green kaso wala akong ay okay lang okay lang no worries ayan Sad react, but naman sad react tayo Hey, we have another streamer in the house, Kerotin on the purple platform. What's up? Don't forget to also support Kerotin. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir, for dropping by. Let's shout out uh, Kerotin. Wait. Where's my purple platform? I'll give you a shout out here. Shout to the heart, and you're to blame. You give love. A bad name. <laughs> there. Oh, okay, cool. So there's our shout out to Carotine on the purple 
platform. Nga pala, you betrayed under the table. Kore, if you still haven't watched the reel that I posted uh, this week. Yes. Uh, natry mo na yung ma-enable yung frame generation on all RTX cards MSFS. Not yet, ano, Sir Kero, because I don't have an RTX card. I only have a GTX card. <laughs> Next time, once I have art, an RTX card. <laughs> Oo oh, nga, I've heard the eh, maximum FPS, di ba? Oo oh, nga, eh, sayang. Eh. Di ba, eh, hopefully next year. I'll be, uh, I'm planning to upgrade my league, pero probably by next year pa. Hopefully by March. We'll see. Hopefully. Gusto ka try maglaro nito kasa feeling ko masisira. Grabe naman. Hindi naman sa masisira. Um, y- like for example, di ba yung sa akin, I'm playing, I-, I have a Ryzen 5 36. Is this a 3600? Yep, 3600. <laughs> processor and I have a GTX 1660 Super Ventus uh, GPU. I can fly um, while streaming. So, syempre yun nga lang lowest setting siya if you're streaming. Pero if you're not streaming, you can fly uh, at most ano, medium medium settings. Saka di ako marunong. Mad- madali na mga tutunan yan. Okay. From 40 to 50 FPS uh, 3090 ko to nice no sayang di ba le next year captain Kero. next year <laughs> okay by the way so let's now uh, move on and oh before anything else let me uh, show you of course our first officer for tonight a uh, first officer una so she will be uh doing the flight uh, the pilot monitoring for this flight and she'll accompany us sa ating 38th flight for John Ryzen 5 3400G GTX 1660 Super sa akin pero yung storage ko ah yun lang you need, you need a lot of storage dito yun okay 1 terabyte will not be enough sa so, sobrang dami rin ng CMOS 100 plus FPS Ultra sa dito sana all sana all Captain Kera <laughs> Okay, so before I need, ayan, yeah. let's now proceed with our uh, flight. So let's just prep the aircraft so we can start our flight for tonight. My dedicated 2 terabyte drive ako para. Oh, di ba? Correct, Captain Kero. Same. 1 terabyte is just for the base game. Diba? You need another terabyte for sceneries and add ons. So, yun lang talaga. But as far as processor and GPU is concerned Ryzen 5 is enough GTX 1660 is enough not ultra settings nga lang or high settings you can play as at max uh, medium settings but not not when streaming of course when you're streaming you have to uh, downgrade that to low, to the lowest settings yeah. so anyway there we've already turned on our battery so now let's connect the GPU Here's the GPU. There. Let's wait for the GPU to arrive. Sir Andre, what's up? Thanks for the like. Welcome to the stream. Mag PC building simulator na lang ako para hindi masyado makapit sa storage. Madali lang magpalipaod once na alam mo na. Yes, tama. Correct. Si, si Sir Kero. Yes, Team LKV. Um, as long as you know the basics, you know the controls, you know which buttons to push. And yeah, yeah, just the basics actually. You'll be able to you'll be able to learn how to fly naman. The rest is ano naman, self learn and once once you're doing the same routine ano um magagamayin mo naman siya. Okay, so the GP is now connected. Let's now ask our first officer. You can now start setting up. Let's start setting up. Okay. Okay. Ikaw, Sir Borch, kaya mo na mag-Boeing. Eh. Same procedures lang, different switch na yun. Lang. Ah, so, maybe, uh, previously, ano, Sir Kero, Boeing 747 talaga yung pinapalipad ko. Before, ano, before Airbus talaga. So, from Flight Simulator 10, FS-10, or FSX, 747 talaga. The, 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 the first time that I tried an Airbus uh, was dito na sa ano, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. 
Although, yun nga, I fell in love with the Airbus na kasi. <laughs> so, parang there's no going back na. De, pero, I, I still fly naman sometimes, Boeing 747. Pero, yun nga, mostly, I, I fly the Airbus na. Napamahal na sa akin si Airbus. <laughs> okay. So, let's now start setting up. So, Adiers 132 set to nav, ground control set to on or auto, crew oxygen supply on, seatbelt signs on, no smoking signs auto, emergency exit signs armed, and let's turn on the fuel pumps. And, of course, uh, set up the sub-panel brightness of our overhead or overhead sub-panel brightness. So, while doing this, let's now start refueling the aircraft. So, request refuel. Refueling truck is on its way. Cool. And then, let's continue setting up the rest of the cockpit. Uh, let's switch it down to 50%. 85% is too bright. Should be fine. Let's now move on to the next. Increase it to 50%. Paglabas ng Airsoft A330, kayang-kaya mo na din, di ba? Actually, ano eh, I'm also waiting for that. Right now, I'm using headwind, pero I know kasi headwind is based on the fly-by-wire layout, di ba? So, the cockpit cockpit right now of the headwind simulations is similar to the ano, A320, which is not the 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 actual cockpit of uh, an Airbus A330. Pero yun, waiting for that, actually. Fuel truck is in position, so let's continue with refueling our aircraft. Pre ngayon lang uli. Ah. Oo nga eh. Actually, very, I was too busy at work, Sir Andre. Ngayon lang nagka-time ulit, lumipad. But, yun nga. I'll, I'll try my best to stream at least once a week. In the next, uh, especially in January, because I'll be, ano na, I'll be super busy, busy na by then. Pero, I'll, I will still try to find some time to stream at least once a week for Microsoft Flight Simulator and once a week for Fall Guys, hopefully. Hey, Raider831, what's up? Thanks for tuning in on the green platform. Ano ang similarity ng utot at tula? Pareho silang nagmula sa poet. Okay. Pwede, pwede. Brettud, what's up, Brett? Thanks for the like. Welcome to the screen. Correct, Pasco. Too many Christmas parties. To, and I will be on holiday vacation as well, so... Alam nyo na. Okay, next. Prepare na din muna ako ang mag... Uy, Korea from Manila. Sir Kero. Sige, if maabutan kita later, I'm, I'm gonna raid you, ah. Uh, on Twitch. Ay, shoot, ba't ko siya dami yung platform? Pero okay lang naman. On the purple platform. <laughs> okay, wait. Uh, any online APCs? None. Sorry, good. Uh, let's just use the default squawk code on VATSIM. That's gonna be uh, squawk2000. Um, let's do a self-radio check. Let's tune into uh, des uh, 1 to 1 decimal 9 or 5. And let's just uh, make sure that we can hear ourselves on the Unicom. Check, check, check radio, check. Okay, I can hear myself, so that's cool. So I guess we're good here. Let's now continue with the catering truck. Um, yep, GSX choice. Yep, I think refueling is done, but unfortunately, it's not yet synchronized here. Uh, there's really something wrong with the GSX Pro. Um, with if we're talking about the synchronization with uh, flyby wire, so I still have to do this manually. Um, five thousand two hundred, so that will take us three minutes. So that's fine. Ah, domestic Korea, I see. Sige, sige. Safe flight, safe flight. Sir Kero, don't forget to support again. Keratin on the purple platform. Um, he will be... Mag-stream ka ba? Sir Kero. Madaming tao papunta ng south kaya traffic lalo. Exactly. Correct, correct. Taba, Sir Andre. Okay, let's now set up the MCDU. Uh, let's check the Iraq cycle. November 30 to December 27. So we have the updated. Uh, sorry, hindi ko pala na-check kung updated yung Iraq cycle. Yep, it's updated. Okay. 
Um, let's clear this. G GPS primary last message. Let's now move on to the MCDU menu. APSU. AOC. And let's uh, initialize. So let's go to init press. Init data request. And there. Um, flight number again is Juliet Oscar Lima 27. Departure airport is Mike Hotel Tango Golf. Destination airport is Mike Mike Tango Golf. Uh, fuel on board is 3.7. I forgot to check the meaning of EP again. So anyway, total flight time is 1 hour and 11 minutes. So let's now move on to the init page and uh, initialize uh, the MCDU or FMS. So uplink insert in progress. So again, we are flying from Mike Hotel Tango Golf to Mike Mike Tango Golf. We now have the GPS aligned. Alternate air airport is Mike Mike Victor Alpha. Flight number again is Juliet Oscar Lima 27. Cost index 10 and our cruising flight level is 360. So uh, let's check. IRS in it. Our GPS is already aligned or available. Wind temp. Um, let's clear that message out. A wind request for the climb wind cruise wind and lastly the descent wind okay so we're good with the init page let's now move on let's go back to uh, mcdu atsu aoc menu and then weather let's uh, request for the metar information um and check if we are good to take off from runway 02 so let's wait for the message to be received Safe flights then sir. Thank you, thank you. Ayun, sige, sige. I'll go ahead and read you later after our stream. Dyan ba sa area na traffic then Yep, actually when I went home earlier, the traffic actually is from Alabang to I don't know until when. Pero pag <laughs> exit ko sa, ano, pag exit ko sa, sa amin, traffic talaga. So the traffic was from, kasi I came from Alabang eh. So from Alabang, traffic na talaga siya. Alam mo na, Tapos ko. Okay. So, let's read that. The metar information for... Uh, this is Tegucigalpa, Honduras. So, uh, Mike Hotel Tango Golf. Metar information issued uh, December 21st, 1500 Zulu. Winds 320 at 10 knots. 320. So, we're good uh, with taking off from runway 02. Okay. Um, visibility is more than 10 kilometers. Few clouds at 1,200 feet. Broken clouds at 2,500 feet. Temperature 17, dew point 13, QNH 1022, altimeter 3018. So our QNH is 1022. So let's go ahead and take this out and change our QNH to 1022. There. 1022. Pull. Okay, so we're good here. Again, it's good. we're good with runway 02. So let's set up our departure. We are taking off from runway 02. Our SID will be uh, Vitan 1 Delta. And let's insert that. Okay, let me just cross-check this with our chart, which I'll show you later once we do our takeoff briefing. So... We're flying the Vitan 1 Delta. Where's Vitan? Okay, got it. So, according to our chart, we should be flying, taking off up to 3,800 feet. We should turn slightly left, tracking Tango Golf 007. Correct. And then Tango Golf 006, at or above 7,000 feet. And that's correct. And then Tango Golf 030 at or above 8,600 feet. Correct. And then turn left to Tango Golf 004 at or above 12,000 feet. And that's correct. And then after that, we're gonna turn left again to Tango Golf 005 and then Vitan after. So we're good. So our um initial altitude we can set it up to 12,000 feet uh what's the transition altitude here is 19,000 19,000 wait let me check if my settings is set to 19,000 uh-huh 
Oh, that's Danny. Danny wants to join the flight. I can't find the right settings. Uh, blah 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 blah. 3D copilot, start APLS, deviation calls. Ah, there, there. 10k flow at 18k. Okay, we're good. Okay, cool. So, our departure is correct. Let's clear the flight plan discontinuity. After that, we will be directing Motal uh, via. Uniform Alpha 754 and then El Salvador and then Olisu, Kapan, La Aurora, Calpa, Omiso, Roger that, Gaben, Kesley and then Kesley will be the final waypoint. For now, we are expecting Tulu arrive. Um, oh, shoot. How come? Ah, uh, dun dun. <laughs> Okay, so we have to input this manually. Unfortunately, we don't have the scenery for Tuxla. So that means for the ILS approach, we have to input it manually. So let me go ahead and just input it right now. So after... Uh, what's this? After... Kel Is that Kelsey or Kel Kesley? That's Kesley right there. After Kesley... We should be tracking. Uh, what's TGC? Hmm. This is hard. Okay, we can use 16 DME Tango Golf. Okay, we can use track instead because it's not indicated here. Let's put D16. This is hard actually. Okay. Right. Let's put D16. D16. There. So, from Kesley, that's gonna be... We have to do it manually. Because I don't have an updated scenery for Tuxla. So, Kesley bearing 308. And distance will be 9 nautical miles. 9.0. There. Okay. Let's store that for now. And then after D16, uh, we're gonna turn left. Uh, D12. So that's uh, tracking 268, radial 268, 6 miles. So let's uh, put D12. D12. Let's put TGZ. Tango Golf Zulu. Just to identify it. Okay, so again, that's gonna be coming from D16, which uh, we uh, manually inputted. And then 268. Tracking 268. That's gonna be 6.0 miles. Nautical miles. There. Let's store it again. And we're good. After that, uh, D10.0. D10.0. D10 of uh, Tango Golf is really. It's a good thing that we're inputting it right now instead of inputting it later. Um, this is two mile, two nautical miles. Um, what's the head? Three two seven. Yep, it's three two seven. Ah, shoot. Wrong. Okay. Wait a minute. I'm still trying to input it manually. D10, TGZ. D10, Tango Golf Zulu. What am I doing? Should Tango Golf Zulu only. Okay, so again, that's coming from D12. Delta 12 of Tango Golf Zulu. Technically, that's 12 DME from uh, Tuxtla, VOR. 
and uh, that's gonna be bearing 327 and that's gonna be two miles two nautical miles that's two right yep 2.0 nautical miles okay let's store that uh, that's the one zero and then after that our final fix wait let's check d610 d610 is of course that's gonna be four nautical miles ah, d6 of uh, tango golf zulu tango golf zulu so from delta one zero of tango golf zulu three two seven and then that's gonna be four miles storm okay so i think that's it do we still have one more yep one more uh no that's fine after that we can now land uh my my tango golf let's just input the altitude restrictions for Kesley um, we don't have any altitude restriction for Kesley but for Delta uh, 16 DME from Tuxla we should be at 7,000 feet really wait yep 7,000 so let's hard code it 7,000 the one six cool next um the one 12 dme we should be at or above five thousand okay at or above five thousand so i i have to do everything manually because it's not yet um again i don't have an active or an updated scenery for tuxla so i have to input everything manually and then for the course intercept d1 at uh, 10 dme that's gonna be at or above four thousand three hundred okay and then the final uh, intercept or final fix, 3,400. So let's hard code it to 3,400. So we should, that should be mandatory. Okay. Hi. The security so I guess we're good. and safety check are all done. Are we good to start boarding? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's begin boarding request boarding boarding requested okay so i think we're good here let's now check if there are any discontinuity so this time we really we have to check because we uh did everything manually at least for the arrival okay so let's check um again we are taking off from runway zero two nobody at 3,800 feet, turn slightly left to uh, 007, and then 006 at or above, uh, at or above 7,000 feet, and then 030 at or above 8,600 feet, and then turn left to uh, 004 at or above 12,000 feet, and then Tango Golf 005, and then Vitan, and then after that Mutal. El Salvador VOR, Olisu, and then Kapan, La Aurora VOR, Kalpa, Omiso, Gaben, uh, Kesli. So Kesli will be the final waypoint after this. We will be there. Um, Delta 1 or 16 DME from Tuxla VOR. We should be at 7,000 feet. Turning left to 12 DME of uh, Tuxla at or above 5,000. And then turn right, 10 DME at or above 4,300. And then uh, 6 DME at or um, mandatory is 3,400. And then we'll intercept the ILS by then. So we just have to make sure that we input the ILS frequency on our RADNAV 
before we begin our approach because we have to do it manually again since our FMS doesn't have that due to we don't have any sceneries for Tuxla. So we're good with our flight plan. Let's uh, switch this back to Arc. Okay, and let's go back to our MCD or FMS. Continue set up, set up the FMS. So flight plan is good. Secondary flight plan is checked. Radnav. Um, so later we have to input our ILS frequency before we begin our approach. Um, let's now move on to the fuel spread. So for the fuel spread, our zero fuel weight is 60.4. And our zero fuel weight center of gravity is that's gonna be planned is three three point one. Okay. Block fuel is five point two. And then the rest should be automatically populated. And then for the takeoff speed, we will be using a 3 2 its performance calculator. So let's just um, pull up the rest of the data. Hi. Hey, Catherine, Ron, Jason, thanks for the, thanks for the light. Ilang oras naman inabot from Alabang to Samin Malapit around. I think uh, almost an hour yeah, from Alabang. Buti na nakapag-live ka pa. Yes! Correct si Dan. San Biahe Lodge, Tuxla, Mexico. Tuxla, Mexico tayo tonight. Um, shoot, I forgot. I forgot to pull up the data. Ayan, I was able to pull it up na. Okay, cool. So, anti-ice is off. Packs will be off. Um, RCG should be aft. Runway condition is... Let's check the weather information here in Tegucigalpa. Galpa, rather. Galpa. Toncontin International Airport. Yep, we have a dry runway. So, runway length. QNH is... QNH here is 1022. Temperature is 17. Wind is 320 at 10 knots. So let's calculate this. Okay, so we have to do toga for our um, takeoff. So V1 is uh, 129er, VR 131, V2 142. So let's move on to the perf page. Again, flaps 1. We will not be uh, flexing. Uh, for our takeoff, uh, we will use toga. Uh, V1 is 129er. V2 is 131. And uh, V2 is 142. Okay, transition altitude is 19,000 feet. Let me just verify it. Um, yep, it's 19,000 feet. Sorry, good. Okay, uh, let's now ask our first officer to check the box. Check the box. Okay. Okay. So while she's checking the box, let's set up the rest of the FCU. So let's turn on our VORs. Our initial altitude should be 12,000 feet. And I think we're good here. Okay. Box is checked. So we're just waiting for the baggage loading to be completed. So again, we are in Tegucigalpa right now. Uh, we still don't have any online ATC, so it's just gonna be us. Yep, it's just us tonight. I'm checking that's by as well. Yep, it's just us.
Okay, boarding is completed. Let's do the takeoff briefing. Are you ready for the takeoff briefing? Ready. Okay, so we are currently here at uh, Ton Quentin International Airport in Tegucigalpa, Honduras. We are currently at gate 3 and we are expecting to be pushed back facing south for runway 02. Our uh, expected taxi route will be just uh, straight south until we reach uh, the end of, or, or sorry, we will hold short of uh, 02 and then we will enter the runway and uh, we'll, we'll line up uh, before we take off. So upon takeoff, we will be flying the Vitan 1 Delta. Our departure, our transition altitude is 19,000 feet. This said requires a minimum climb gradient of 500 feet per nautical mile to 12,000 feet. So for our take off so again we will take off from runway 02 at 3800 feet we will turn slightly left tracking or directing to uh, tango golf 007 after that directing uh, 006 at or above 7000 feet and then directing 030 at or above 8600 feet and then turn left to 004 at or above 12000 feet turn left to 005 and then turn left to Vitan and then we will fly our uh, plan through okay so that was our take off briefing any questions no questions okay so since you don't have any questions let's now wait for the load sheet to be provided Hi guys, here's the load sheet for you. Thank you. No problem, have a safe flight. Thanks, see ya. APU on. I should have actually turned on the APU a while ago, no? Anyway. There's something wrong with our catering door let's just go ahead and try to there. close it manually okay so let's wait for the APU to become available and then we will disconnect the ground power unit Okay, AP is almost at 100%. Let's just wait for the avail indicator. Um, what's the radio code again for Tegucigalpa? Wait. I think it's Ton Contin. It's Ton Contin. Ton Contin! And then after that... Um, Merida Control and Tuxtla. So uh, let me just write it down. Merida Control. And then Tuxtla. So for now, it's gonna be Ton Contin. Okay. okay, AP is already available. Before start checklist. Cockpit prep. Completed. Completed. Gear pins and covers. Removed. Signs. On and auto. Adairs. Nav. Fuel quantity. 5200 zero zero kilograms. Takeoff data. Set. Barrel ref. 1022 set. 1022 two. set. Down to the line. Copy. Okay, so let's now disconnect the ground power unit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board today. As you locate your assigned seats, please place your smaller items under the seat in front of you to provide more room for larger items in our overhead compartments. If you need assistance, contact a flight attendant. If you are unable to accommodate any item in the cabin, please bring it to the boarding door and we will check it for you. Also, review the safety instruction card in your seat pocket. 
If you are seated at an exit seat, also review the exit seating criteria. Cool. Okay. Let's do this. Hey guys, are we clear to close? Yes. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Thank you. Cool. So there's the jetway. Let's now get ready to... Let's prepare for pushback, rather. Prepare for pushback and departure. Let's close the cockpit door. Let's lock this. So we will be uh, pushing back facing south. Runway 02. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Copy that. Or Rog? Should I say Rog? <laughs> Cabin crew, arm slides and cross check. There's the push back tug. Okay, we're now being lifted up. Okay, cool. So, let's now announce that we are about to be pushed back. Um, still, we don't have any online ATCs right now. Toncon Teen Traffic, Jollibee 27 at Gate 3, Airbus A320 Neo. Commencing push and start facing south for runway 02. So, nose should be to the left, tail to the right. Please, parking brakes. Please. Okay, one moment, please. So, beacon is on. Parking brake is confirmed on. Below the line. Please, parking brakes. Below the line. Windows and doors. Closed. Closed. Beacon. On. Thrust lovers. Idle. Parking brake. On. Before start checklist complete. Okay. Parking brake set. Uh, released. Rather. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at wheel. Okay. There's the pushback. Engine mode to ignition. Starting engine 2. Let's go outside. Mm, shoot, I forgot APU for bleed. That's the thing that there I forgot. APU bleed on. on this aircraft. Regulations require compliance with this information as well as all crew instructions, lighted information signs, and posted placards. Fasten your seatbelt by inserting the metal tip into the buckle. Tighten by pulling on the belt. To release your seatbelt, lift the metal flap on the buckle. It is our policy that you keep your seatbelt fastened at all times while seated. Doors are clearly marked set. with exit signs and instructions for door operation. Each door is equipped with an escape slide. Yay! Locate the exit ano ang ibig sabihin ng purple number? Altitude sa nav lodge. Purple... In an emergency what do you mean purple? Dito? The cabin is pressurized. If there is a loss of cabin this one? pressure, a panel will open and oxygen masks will appear. Is it purple or magenta? If it's magenta, that means ano, um, restriction. So there's an altitude restriction. So for example, even if you put your 
um, altitude to maximum or let's say flight level 360. If there's a magenta there, it will only climb up to that magenta altitude because that means there's a restriction. Okay, engine one's available. Or two rather. Starting engine one. Ah, there. Some apps before descending. Yep. Uh, that's magenta actually. So, well, yes, it's it, it seems like it's colored purple, but that means ano, magenta. This one, di ba? Yung magenta. Or, if you're gonna take a look at here sa flight plan, um, this one, for example. Ito. This one, di ba? Yung parang magenta dito. Ay, di pala magenta yung nakalagay dyan. But anyway, yep, later, lalabas yan dyan. So, that's altitude restriction. That means we cannot go below that. And it's uh, automatic, automatically programmed on our flight management system. So, even if we try to set, for example, the magenta is 10,000 feet. If we try to put, for example, an altitude lower than 10,000 feet, it will stop at 10,000. Especially if we are on managed, uh, managed descent. So, para, ano siya, um, hindi siya bumaba ng 10,000. Okay, uh, engine 1 is already available. Let's uh, advise that we now have a good engine start. Confirm good Contact engine start. We have engine good mode, engine start. back to you normal. APU bleed off, APU master switch off, pro window seat on. Let's turn off the dome lights. And let's check our... Uh, center of gravity that should be 33.4 so that's 33% so let's uh, set up our pitch stream to 33% there and let's do our after start checklist after start checklist anti-ice off ecam status Check. Pitch trim. Three three percent set. Rudder trim. Zero. After start checklist complete. Flight controls check. Ready. Full up. Full down. Neutral. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Rudder. Full left. Full right. Neutral. Okay, we're good. Yes, yun yun, yung, yung altitude restrictions. Usually, it's indicated sa chart. Especially if you s selected uh, a standard terminal arrival. Kasi, of course, there, there are flight ano yun, or altitude restrictions. So, yun yung safe, of course, para hindi magkabanggaan with other aircraft. So, by this waypoint, you should be at or above 10,000 feet, per, for example. So, you cannot go below 10,000 feet until you um, cross that waypoint. So, it's automatically programmed sa flight management system. Okay, so I think we're good. Uh, what happened to the, ano? Naka-flaps 1 dapat tayo, di ba? Ayan. And then take off config. How come our first officer did not? Huh? Seats not in take off config. How come? Ah, there. Okay, cool. Very good. Clear left side. What's wrong with our first officer? Okay, cool. Let's now advise that we are to begin our taxi. Commence our taxi. So we'll be taxiing all the way through uh, runway 02. Don't continue traffic, Jollibee 27. Commencing taxi to runway 02. We'll hold short off runway 02. Okay, part break off.
brake check. Pressure zero. So we will be taking off via toga. So we're not flexing because we only have a short runway here in Tegucigalpa. Before takeoff checklist. Flight controls. Check. Check. Flight instruments. Check. Check. Briefing. Confirmed. Flap setting. Config one plus F. Config 1 plus F, V1, VR, V2, flex temp. Toga. V1, 1, 2, 9, VR, 1, 3, 1, V2, 1, 4, 2, ATC. Set. ECAM memo. Take off, no blue. Down to the line. Cool. We're now taxiing to runway 02. We will hold short of runway 02. Announce that we are about to enter the active runway. We'll do a turnaround to line up. And then we'll proceed with uh, our takeoff. Let's hold short here and announce that we are about to enter the active runway. Okay, park brake on. One more check. Um, our wind, QNH is still 1022. Wind now is 340. Heading 340 at 10 knots. 1022 for our QNH is still good. Um, temperature for 19. Okay, cool. Let's now check. Still no online ATC, so let's announce. Don't contain traffic. Jollibee 27 holding short of runway 02 ready for departure. We'll now uh, enter the active runway to line up runway 02. Park right, break off. Below the line. So we are clear on the departing side and we're clear on the arriving side. Approach path clear of traffic. Take off runway. Zero two confirmed. Cabin crew. Advice. TCAS. TARE. Engine mode selector. Normal. PAX. Off. Before takeoff checklist complete. Okay, so let's just turn around here. So we can line up. 
Relay zero two. Break. Oh, uh, no, we'll just break. Ready? Ready. Take off. Don't contain traffic, Jollibee 27, rolling on runway 02. Toga SRS auto thrust. Thrust set. One hundred knots. Check. V one. Rotate. Positive climb. Gear up. Auto pilot one on. Don't contain traffic. Jollibee two seven airborne Pets passing five thousand five hundred, climbing twelve thousand feet initially via the Vitan one Delta departure IFR to Tuxla. Lap zero. Speed check. Lap zero. After takeoff, climb checklist. Landing gear. Up. Flaps. Retracted. Packs. On. Down to the line. Cool. We're airborne. Hey, Tito Eric, what's up? Rogue Sky Sims on the blue platform. Thanks for the like. Welcome to the stream. Let's also support Rogue Sky Sims. That's on the blue platform. Tito Eric, also one of the VATSIM. Uh, ang isa sa mga pinaka-poking member ng uh, VATSIM Philippines. Uh, VATSIM community. What's up, Tito Eric? Okay. 
Okay, so after this, we will continue our climb to flight level 360. We're already passing 10,600 feet. We just took off from Tonkontin International Airport here in Tegucigalpa, Honduras. to go check flight level 360 manage okay. don't contain traffic Jollibee TV 7 passing 12,000 feet inbound uh, Tango Golf 0041 for nautical miles will continue climb flight level 360 final Before passing 18,000 feet, let's go back inside as we have to uh, set up the aircraft again for cruise. Hey, Modrebeca, hindi pa pala ako nakabot sa port. Yan tayo eh. Kaya ka natatalo eh. Okay, altitude check passing uh, 14,600. One year number left. Oh, really? But did you change your name? Naging Rebecca's na siya. Marami kami. Marami. What's your plan for the holiday, Mod Rebecca? Are you going on vacation? Ah, second account. I see. So we just took off from Tegucigalpa, Honduras, Tontontin International Airport. We're currently uh, passing 16,700 feet, climbing to flight level 360, which is our cruising altitude, and we are flying to Tuxla, Guevara, Mexico. Again, this is the 38th flight for zone. Let's go back inside. We're almost at 18,000 feet. We have to set up the aircraft. Ang plan ko po ay matulog yun. Ah, wala pa. Di bale. Ano naman yan. And usually naman kasi traffic pag ganito nga season okay we're now passing 18,000 cool so let's set this up to 8,0 turn off the navigational display put this to airport okay. clear red nav Clear red nav. Okay. She can't hear me again. Set standard. Standard cross check. Passing flight level one nine five. Now. Check. Seat belts off. Below the line. Barrel ref. Standard set. Standard set. After takeoff climb checklist complete. Ladies and gentlemen, in just a few moments, we'll begin our mail service for the flight. Please refer to the menu given to you on boarding. For the two meal choices and your beverage choices available, okay, let's set this we request up. that you keep the aisles clear to assist the flight attendants to serve you in Start with the fix in for your own safety. Thank you. Again, we are flying to Mike, Mike Tango Golf.
let's set it to 60 nautical miles just an indicator that we are 60 nautical miles away from the airport and then for the prog let's uh input mic mic tango golf and we are currently expecting runway 33 for our departure or our arrival rather see it's not indicated here hmm what's wrong so mic 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 tango golf is not hmm. ah, that's fine it's not put it there anymore. let's return Okay, perf, uh, top of descent is 280. Okay, cool. Where's our top of descent? Okay, let's go back outside. Kapag naging si Dora po ako sa holiday, for sure ang gamit ko. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I remember, I think that was way back in 2013 or 2014 um, after the holidays or after Christmas, we went to Mall of Asia. Grabe ang daming tao. Hindi mahulugan ng karayon. Hirapan din kaming kumain. <laughs> Kasi lahat ng resto puno. So after that, we said... Uh, um, me and my wife decided we will not go out after the holidays, after Christmas or after the New Year, because it's really hard. Jump and traffic, of course. I forgot to order, ano, uh, yung ating in-flight meal later. Once we uh, turn right, actually, that's right there. That's an, our indicator. So once our wings level, then. Well, request for our in-flight meal. Okay, so we're climbing to flight level 360. Right now we're passing uh, flight level Out po muna mi kuya, gawin ko lang po yung namin ipasa. Go lang, go lang. No worries, Mother Rebecca. Finish the projects first. Gawe, baka syo naman yung project pa rin. Nasa na hostage. Where's the, where's the justice? Okay, so our wing is starting to level. Our wings rather okay let's now order our in-flight meal hi it's andy at l1 how can i help you some dinner please okay i'll bring them up in a minute so let's uh unlock the cockpit door hi guys here are the crew meals you asked for enjoy thank you back and again where's our top of descent it's actually right here in omiso so that means by what's this again aurora we should hmm, aurora yep we should start configuring our descent so Aurora is actually La Aurora. Um 1645. Let's use Kapan. So that's seven minutes. I'd say 1640. Let's do 1640. 1640. Right now it's 1622. So that means 18 minutes from now we should set up our approach. Right? 40222. That's 18. Okay, cool. 1-8 minutes, so we just have to sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Okay, 
1.8 minutes Ayan Set on a lot so. Okay Now's the time to uh, Check the F Ay, sorry. I said the platform By the way, just a disclaimer I am not a real world pilot So anything we do here Everything that we do here Should not be in any way replicated in the world so actually they don't use for example their uh, what do you call this cell phones of course they don't use it when flying By the way, for those who are watching on the Ombre platform, unfortunately, we don't have the live chat yet, so I can't see your chat for now. But shout out to you if you're watching.
are now approaching our cruising altitude, so let's go back inside. Wait for the passen uh, passenger announcement. We can now see the what do you call that? The ocean. Is it the ocean or the sea? I think it's an ocean. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Pacific Ocean. Okay, cool. Just have to sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight.
go back inside. Yeah, let's switch this to eight one six zero. That's our indicator. Let's now try to check. Uh, Alpa, La Aurora. So forty-five. Yep, five minutes more, I think. Sixteen forty-six. 1646 Zulu right now it's 1641 so 4 more minutes before we can figure our approach or set up our approach
Okay, almost there. We're about to set up our approach anytime soon. Actually, in a few minutes. I'm actually starting to get stuck. No work tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, let's get ready to set up our approach. Let's check here. Top of descent is 85, so let's advise our first officer that she has control. You have control? I have control. Okay, so let's now. Uh. Request for the Metar information in Tuxla. So MCDU, ATSU, AOC menu, and then weather request. Send. Okay, so that's sent. So let's wait for that message to be received. So while waiting for that, let's check flight radar 24.com for the active runway in real life in Tuxla. Landed. Why are they landing on runway zero? <laughs> They're landing on runway zero five. We can do three three. Let's check the departure. Live flight, show on map. Ah. So it should be zero five. Ah, it's okay. Let's use three three. What's the What's the wind right now? Ang uh, Ang Angel Albino, Albino. Yeah, it should be three three. It's five knots from heading zero two zero, so we should be uh, landing from runway three three. Also, it should be runway three two, not three three. Unfortunately, we don't have that, so we're gonna land on runway three two. Ah, uh, yeah, it's three two. Okay, cool. Okay, so for now, we now have the METAR information. Let's check this out. Is this the updated one? The last one was issued at 1443 Zulu. This one is issued 1540 Zulu. So we have, this is the most updated one. Okay, so let's print this first. And let's read out the METAR information for Mike Mike Tango Golf for Tuxla Guevara. Metar information issued December 21, 1540, 1540 Zulu. Winds 0 to 0 at 5 knots. What's 8 SM again? Can't remember. SK. Ah. Uh, anyway. Temperature is 182.12. Altimeter is 3019er. So isolated cumulonimbus. So it's about to rain. 
Yeah, so let's uh, take that out and let's configure the perf page. So we are now being asked to enter the destination data. So let's go to the perf page. This one approach. So our QNH altimeter is 3019. So if it's 3019, what's that in altimeter? Ah. Wait. I have to convert it. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's the same. It's one, two, two. Sorry. The same. One, zero, two, two. Okay, so it's one, zero, two, two. There. Temperature is one, eight degrees. Magnetic wind is zero, two, zero, at five knots. Transition altitude is 19,500. Let's go ahead and check that on our chart. Yep, it's flight level 195, 19,500. And our barrel should be DA ILS should be 1,750. Okay, the app is 132 and our mandatory altitude is 3400. Okay. Let's compute for that. So let's sync this first and then input 3400. Enter. Should begin our descent at 102 nautical miles from the airport. Let's fail. Um, approach speed is 132 knots. Okay, let's fill the data from OFP and of course the meter information as well. Okay, winds 020 at uh, 5 knots, temperature 18, runway elevation as per the chart that's gonna be for runway 33. This is not update. How come it says runway 33? But anyway, uh, elevation is 1508 heading 326. 1508. And heading is it's gonna be three two six. Okay, let's check the runway condition. Right now is we have a dry runway. And for the runway slope, don't have the runway slope here, so we have to compute for this manually. Okay, let's check for the runway slope. Okay, 1503 minus 1508 divided by 8202 multiplied by 100. So that's going to be uh, negative 0 0.06. Okay. And then runway LDA is runway 33. That's going to be 2151. Two one five one. For our weight, our estimated fuel on board is two point seven. Right now, it's three thousand kilograms, so that means three hundred kilograms less. Gross weight is uh, currently at sixty three thousand three hundred minus three hundred. That's going to be sixty three thousand kilograms. Our landing weight. Okay, flaps config full overweight procedure no reverse thrust yes auto land no uh, let's just check our maximum landing weight allowable is 67,400 so we're good with uh, 63,000 uh, kilograms of landing weight um, let's calculate uh, we cannot do low braking so we should be medium braking and we will consume 1.6 kilometers of the runway so 1.6 we're expecting to vacate via taxiway bravo so we'll vac vacate via taxiway bravo taxi to charlie and then probably gate 2 if it's available so 
let's now put our uh, brakes to medium okay cool so our arrival airport weather has been obtained the uh, MCD has been set up auto brake is now set to medium and let's now brief our approach are you ready for the approach briefing not losing anything. Ready. Okay. So we are 15 nautical miles out of Omiso and we are about to commence our descent in less than 20 nautical miles. And we will be uh, descending via... Actually, we don't have a star. So we will just descend uh, via our flight, uh, filed flight, flight, flight plan. <laughs> and then um, for our approach, we will be uh, flying the ILS-2 uh, runway 33 approach so our localizer is ITGZ 109.7 we have to input that by the way final approach uh, CRS is th heading 327 our mandatory altitude is 3400 feet our minimum decision altitude is 1750 feet Airport elevation is 1,508, same with the touchdown zone, 1,508 elevation. If you have to go around, our missed approach procedure is to climb outbound via Tuxla VOR, radial 327, to 6 DME off the Tuxla VOR, then turn right within 9 nautical miles to uh, Tuxla VOR at the minimum holding altitude. So it doesn't show here what's the minimum holding altitude. So let's just say... Yeah, that's, uh, I don't know, 4,000. Or let's, uh, let's use 7,000. Yep, 7,000 should be fine. Okay, so upon landing, we are expecting to vacate via taxiway Bravo. And then we'll taxi to the terminal via taxiway Bravo, Charlie, and then probably gate 2. Gate 4, it says here gate 4. Unfortunately, I don't have the the uh, the updated scenery for Tuxla. So we will... Um, for Microsoft Flight Simulator generic scenery, it says gate 2. So we'll use gate 2. Okay, so that's gonna be our approach briefing. Any questions? No questions. I have control. Set altitude 7000. You have control. Manage descent. Merida one. Uh, correction. Merida traffic advisory is LB27. Overhead Omiso inbound Gabin 33 nautical miles, leaving flight level 360, descending 7000 feet initially. Expecting ILS uh, DME. To runway 33 in Tuxla. Okay, so we will be descending to 7,000 feet initially. So by 16 DME out of uh, Tuxla VOR, we should be at, at or above 7,000 feet. After that, we will descend to 5,000. And then... Actually, we can descend the... Uh, we can descend to 4,300 right away. Or 3,400, rather. And then we will intercept the ILS. Um, by the way, we have to set up the ILS. I'm still no online ATCs right now. So for the ILS for frequency, that's going to be one or decimal 7. Let me just check. Yep. So for the red nav, ILS is ITGZ, India, Tango, Golf, Zulu, and our frequency is 109.7. Uh, format error. Why? Why? 
Alright, let's use 1097. There. Um, final CRS is 327. How come it doesn't show here India Tango Gulf Zulu? There. Cool. Okay, we're good. So we're now descending. Okay, still no online ATCs. Uh, we're expecting clear weather once we land in Tuxla. So we are now currently in Mexico. Mexico. It's our first time flying here. By the way, this is the 30th leg of our Jollibee World Tour. If you just tuned in, you're watching Boards Gaming Channel, and this was our Flight Thursday stream of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Flying the 38th leg of our Jollibee World Tour from. Uh, Tegucigalpa, Honduras to Tuxla Guevara, Mexico. Again, this is the 38th leg of our Jollibee World Tour. We are flying the Airbus A320 Neo by Fly by Wire Simulations using the Jollibee livery developed by Night Fury 08, available for download on flightsim.io. We are also online on VATSIM. Our call sign is uh, Juliet Oscar Lima 27, or that's Jollibee 27. And we are currently um, descending right now, passing flight level 275, descending to 7,000 feet initially. Uh, we don't have a standard terminal arrival for Tuxla, so we are just flying our flight plan. And then by Kels Lee, we will commence our ILS-22 or ILS-DME-2 runway 33 approach. I don't have the updated scenery for Tuxla, so we're just using the default scenery by Microsoft Flight Simulator. So transition altitude here is flight level 195 or nine that's 19,500 feet so before we reach that altitude we have to go back inside and set our altimeter to 3012 if I'm not mistaken QNH rather to altimeter 3012 that's technically 1022 QNH Okay, cool. Okay, we are now passing flight level 210. We are almost at our transition altitude.
Okay, let's now go back inside. Let's prepare to set this... Set our altimeter to... If I'm not mistaken, that's altimeter 3012. 3019 or rather. Cabin crew, prepare for arrival. Copy that. I'm not the cabin crew, I don't know. Anyway. QNH three zero one nine set. Three zero one nine set. Passing one nine thousand one hundred. Now check. Seat belts on. Approach checklist. Briefing. Confirmed. Ecamp status. Check. Seatbelts. On. Barrel ref. 30197. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be arriving Three, at our destination zero, shortly. If you one, are making a connection nine, to another flight, set, please see minimum. the customer service. 1750 feet set. One, seven, five, zero. Set. Engine mode selector. Normal. Approach checklist complete. Search this to CSDR. And tell us. Also in preparation for landing, please turn off all electronic devices. Stow these devices and then all other carry-on items. Please use caution when opening overhead bins as items may have shifted during our flight. Please stow your tray tables and return your seats to their upright position and check the security of your seat belts. We will be landing. I'm not sure if we will be able to what do you call this? Intercept the glide slope. Because again, I don't have the updated scenery for Tuxla, so I'm not sure if the ILS approach will kick in. If it doesn't, then we have to fly it manually. We'll do a VOR approach instead. <laughs> okay, let me just check the chart again. So after 7,000, we will descend 5,000 and after that, we'll descend to 3,400. Let's go back outside. So by Kesley, we should commence our approach. Um, still, we don't have any online ATCs right now. So we're just all by ourselves. Arriving in Tuxla. By the time that we get to 13,000 or uh, approaching 10,000 feet, we should be uh, prepping our aircraft for landing. So we'll go back inside by then. We'll start recording for our replay. Let's check. Okay, our altimeter is now 3017. We have to change that here. 3017. Also here. Although I don't have the. This. No. No. standard ah, okay. 3017 that's gonna be one zero still one zero two two so that's fine um let's see what's that again wind is now uh, one six zero at three knots blowing from one six zero at three knots temperature is two one two point one 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 six zero three and temperature two one
Okay. Okay, we are now passing almost 10,300. We are now about to land. We are all, almost at Kesley. Okay, that's 10,000 feet. Okay, so this is Mexico. ILS is, yep, it's active, so I guess we will be able to intercept it. One thousand to go. Check. Set altitude five thousand. Manage descent. Speed out constraint. Check. Looks the traffic, Jolly BTV seven, sixteen DME from uh, the base. We'll now commence ILS 2 DME, uh, correction, ILS DME to runway 33 approach. Took slap. Laps 1. Speed check. Laps 1. Set altitude four thousand three hundred. Manage descent. Set altitude three thousand four hundred. Manage descent. Speed break off on. Flaps two. Speed check. Flaps two. 
arm approach. Cat 3 single. Check. Gear down. Speed break off. Gear down. Lock. Star. Check. Glide slope. Check. Tuxla traffic, Zalibi 27, turning final, runway 33. Check. Radar altimeter alive. Check. Glide slope. Check. Lapse three. Hey Nitro Fox, are you landing now? Yes, we're landing now. Just Speed right on check. time. <laughs> Flaps three. Flaps full. Speed check. Flaps full. Spoilers armed. Landing checklist. Cabin crew. Advice. Auto thrust. Speed. Auto brake. Medium. E cam memo. Landing no blue. Landing checklist complete. Okay, cool. Let's land. Actually, can see the runway. Where's the runway? Oh, there, I see it now. I have visual of the runway. Let's get ready to land this thing. Took the traffic, Jolly B27 on short final runway 33. Autopilot off my controls. Hundred above. Mm. 
minimum. Continue. Check. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Five. Five. Spoilers, reverse green, decel. Seventy knots. And we'll break. Okay. Let's turn around. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, the updated scenery in this airport, so... What's happening? Why am I... Okay, we can turn around here, actually. Tuxta traffic, Jollibee 27 landed. Backtracking runway 33 will exit via taxiway Bravo. And we'll continue to taxi to terminal via taxiway Bravo Charlie and we'll um we'll taxi to gate two. Okay. I'm not sure I, I, I can't see the airport. Is the airport here? <laughs> That's the problem if we don't have an updated scenery. So but anyway, let's see. Um no suitable part here. Cool. Gate two is too small. The chosen position is too small. Yeah, I don't. I don't care. I request a follow me car. Yep. Universal aviation should be fine. Okay, follow me vehicle is on its way. Yeah, I can see the airport. I think that's the airport on the left. I requested for a follow me car because I'm not familiar with the. It's, it's my first time here in Tuxla. By the way, was there like a training for the flight? Since understanding and remembering what to say when going over the checklist is kind of crazy. There is actually. Um, there are actually a lot of YouTube videos um, with training materials on how to fly the aircraft. Doing the checklists as well. So if you want to follow the SOPs, then checklists are actually the way to go. Hey, Captain Rami, what's up? Captain Rami777 on the red platform. Welcome to the stream. Yes, we just landed, Nitro Fox. What happened to the follow me car? Where did it go? Okay, anyway, let's just continue. Thank you, thank you, Captain Rami. It's okay. We will watch the replay anyway. So you'll get a glimpse of how we did with our landing. I'm not sure what the FPM is. Uh, I haven't checked it. We'll check it later. We'll just uh, taxi to the gate first. Once we are parked there, we will not turn off the engines anymore. We'll go straight to the replay. Okay, so we've already vac vacated. So ground spoilers now. Disarm. Tuxla traffic, Jollibee 27. Landed, vacated via taxiway. Bravo. There, I can see the airport now. Okay, so we're going to gate 2. I am about to do Christmas in Microsoft Flight Simulator pretty soon. Just keep an eye. Oh, cool. That's interesting. I will, I will. Where's gate 2 again? Show me this spot. Can't see it. Where is it? Okay. Copy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the conclusion of our ah, flight. There. Copy. Please remain Got seated it. with your seatbelts fastened until the captain has turned off the seatbelt sign in the air. After landing checklist. Safely at the gate. This will be your indication it is safe Flaps. to move about the cabin. Retracted. And Spoilers. Disarm. I'd like to thank you for flying with us APU. today. We appreciate your Start. and hope to see you again Radar. on a future flight. Off. Predictive wind shear system. Off. 
after landing checklist complete. Wait, where should I? Where should I go? Ah, there. Okay, copy. Taxi lights off. We're too far, actually. Park break on and we're good. Welcome to Tuxla Guevara here in Mexico. Is it, well, unfortunately, I don't have an updated scenery, Captain Rani. So this will do. Seems like you're a bit experienced with uh, with learning. Um, well, I've been flight simming since 2012 and. For Microsoft Flight Simulator, I started with with this version back in 2020 when it came out. So, and I've been flying for almost, um, I'd say around three times a week. Uh, you will visit Santa soon, Ooh, so you will be flying to the North Pole, Captain Rami. Borge, have you ever wanted to be a real pilot? Yes, actually. Nitro Fox. Uh, I'm a, I'm actually a frustrated pilot. Um, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a pilot. Unfortunately, <laughs> it didn't materialize. But, uh, yeah, I know it's a mess because I really don't have the scenery. So as you can see right now, the jetway is not enough to get connected. <laughs> so our passengers have to jump from the cabin door to the jet way but anyway that's it's okay because we don't have to um deboard right now what we're gonna do is to do the replay so i will not turn on oh sorry turn off our engines what i'm gonna do right now is i'll disconnect on that sim first so let's disconnect on that sim i will also disconnect on volanta that will mess up my flight on Valanta if I won't end this flight. Yep, end it and uh, close Valanta. Okay, and uh, is that it? I think that's it. We're good. Let us now stop the recording and let's watch the replay. <laughs> we'll watch the replay of our landing. I don't think there is a North Pole. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, uh, Tuxla, there is in Orb Orbix. I, I didn't know actually. Um, I just checked flightsim.to. It doesn't have any um, any freeware there. And I also checked with Sim Market, and Tuxla is also not available. Mike, Mike, Tango, go. Hey, what's up? Empton Torak Shokaidmi. Did I pronounce it correctly? Okay, cool. So uh, our last flight has been recorded. So let's go inside again. I will now disconnect the park break and start the replay. So let's play. Okay, and then let's go outside. So let's find a, a good angle for our replay. I think this angle's good, maybe. Yep. Okay, let's watch the replay. 
So we're gonna do um, the external view, passenger view, the landing gear view, and lastly the the runway view. Um, we're soon watching the replay landing. Yes. Ah, for Santa the freezing. Yeah, I know the the mod for Santa. I I've watched the uh, the commercial of Microsoft Flight Simulator where they used Santa for flying. But what what's the base aircraft for that? Do you know, Captain Rami? It's been a while. Oh, Empton. Shoot. Sorry. I, I have, I have actually a, a, a poor memory. <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I think I remember you, but I think I don't. Maybe you could be live on it as well. We'll see. We'll see, Captain Rami. We'll try. Okay, let's go ahead and check the replay. So this is the external view of our landing. After this, will be the passenger view. Try to reverse my name, you'll remember me. Hindi ako... What? Hindi ako is... Ah! Okay, cool. What's up, Carrot? It's Carrot, not me. <laughs> it's been a long time, Carrot. What happened to you? Been busy. Carrot pala ko. Alright, ZTG, but good live stream. Thank you, Nitrofox. I appreciate you dropping by. And probably I'll see you soon next week. Because uh, we're doing, we're actually doing a world tour for the for the Jollibee aircraft. This is the 38th leg. Next week, we'll be flying our 39th leg. We'll be flying from this airport, Tuxla, to another airport, which is around an hour from this airport. Busy on Akats, that's fine. Understandable. A lot of our viewers are actually busy with their academics right now. But make sure you set up your settings, no crash. Oh, really? For Santa. Because uh, you have to land anywhere, eh, no? Right, Captain Rani? We'll see, we'll see. I'll check on it. Okay, so let's watch our landing. Um, actually, th this was a firm landing. It wasn't a smooth one. I, I, and I did float, I think. Yep, I did float right there. Look. There. It was a firm landing. Are they? It was? Why are the. Why are they clapping? I don't know. Okay, so that, that's the reversers. Cool. Is it? <laughs> I think it was a firm landing. When inside the cockpit, it looked like a firm landing. But anyway. Okay, cool. So that was the external view. Let's go ahead and pause this here. And let's do the passenger view. The airport is to the right. So we'll do the right passenger side. Uh, the, the right passenger side view. So let's go to the showcase and the right passenger I think is 19. No, that's 18. Okay, 18. Cool. Let's do this one. And let's switch it back. And let's play. Seam update 14 screw up the landing rate. Oh really? What changed? Oh really? It did mess up the performance. Mm, actually, I didn't notice because my per the performance, my Microsoft Flight Simulator performance was really messed up before Sim Update 13. <laughs> hey, what's up, Carrot? You also tuned in on the Blue Platform. We thank you for following us for 1,114 days on the Blue Platform. Appreciate it. And welcome black to the stream. Oh, so what what did you notice, Captain Rami, for the changes? Okay, so we're currently land we're currently watching the replay of our landing here in Tuxtla Guevara, Mexico. This is the conclusion of our uh, of the 38th leg of our Jollibee World Tour. 
Because my flight sim was running smoothly until sim update 14 came up. Oh, have you tried to turn on the the RTX, Captain Rami? I've seen a lot of articles right now about the RTX on. It actually doubles your FPS as per some of the flight simmers. Maybe you can try that if you haven't. So a little bit of float. And then... Yeah, it felt like it felt like a smooth landing. Although when I was in the cockpit, it felt like a, a firm landing. Oh, it's not working really. Mm. What's the problem? Hope it gets fixed. Okay, so that was the passenger view. Let's now move on to our what we call this landing gear view. So let's pause this. Switch it back and uh, switch to landing gear oh not this one should be the should be the video showcase a fixed camera and then external for there so you'll see how we floated um, i time to sleep haha matane thank you thank you carrot and welcome black again Thanks for dropping by. Okay, good night, sleep tight, and don't let the bed bugs. I'll have to use him update 15 beta when it comes out. Yeah, probably that might work. But when will it come out, Captain Rami? Usually every month, right? If I'm not mistaken. They they all they have an update almost every month. But I'm not sure if it's 15. Same update 15. Sometimes it's their patches right they're just patches but i know almost every month they have an update yeah but mostly pat patches probably i can't remember when sim update 13 went out but I, I know it's not a month ago probably more than more than a month okay so we're watching the landing gear view of our landing here in tuxla guevara mexico so when I was in the cockpit, it felt like a firm landing, but now that we're watching the replay, it looked like smooth. But actually, the MSFS 2024 is coming out in the month of Q2. Oh, really? That early? In Q2? I hope they extend it. Extend the launch more. Yeah, it looks okay. I thought it was a firm landing. Our passengers are clapping. I think that. Okay, so after this, we're gonna watch the runway view. So let's pause it here, and uh, let's switch to the runway view. So we have to do this manually. So I'm gonna switch to my camera drone and uh, reset this first. Switch off follow mode and switch on lock mode. Let's switch the drone speed to 1200 and I think this should be fine. Okay, um, wait, by the way, we have to, we have to, yeah, we have to start here. I think so. Yep, I'll wait. I think this one should, will do. Okay, let's switch back. Um, three, and let's just make sure that it is in the middle. Switch it back to zero. Zoom level to one hundred, and drone lock mode off. And let's make sure that the aircraft is actually in the middle. Now, how how can I put this in the middle? <laughs> hmm. I think this should be fine or not <laughs> wait how can i hmm. okay 
that might work that might not let's just hope that it will okay drone lock mode on and i guess we're good here so let's use this one for the runway view and this will be the last replay before we end our stream no it's not because uh remember msfs 2020 came out in the month of april did it it was august right if i'm not mistaken it, it came out in august or at least here in the philippines but i know it was august check the date from fs10 and then switch to msfs it might be april or may it has always been the same date even a month later or maybe i think msfs if my memory serves me right msfs 2020 came out in august or was it fall guys I don't know. Let's see. 2020. When did this come out? Our launch date. MSFS 2020 launch date. Release date. Ah, oh, release date. Yeah, it was August, Captain Rami. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2022 initial release date was August 18, 2020. Microsoft Flight Simulator launched for Xbox Series X and Series S on July 27, 2021. Yeah, I remember, I remember it was 2020 because that was the pandemic. And I bought the, the sim around, if I'm not mistaken, October. I think it was at the same time when Fall Guys was... Uh, that, uh, when Fall Guys came out as well cool there so that was our landing he in Tixla Guevara Mexico yeah go, go ahead and check I, I did google it it says August 2020 I remember it was August because if it was April that was when pandemic was in its height of lockdown right so i i remember when microsoft flight simulator 2020 came out the restrictions are lax are more lax compared to the start of one pandemic yeah but anyway cool so again we just landed here in tuxla guevara mexico and if you just tuned in you're watching Borge gaming channel and this was our uh, flight Thursday stream of Microsoft Flight Simulator. We just flew the 13th leg of our Zolibi World Tour. The flight was from Tegucigalpa, Honduras to Tuxla Guevara, Mexico. So that means uh, that that concludes the 38th leg. By next week, we will be flying the 39th leg of our Zolibi World Tour. We will be flying from this airport. I don't know where yet. I'm gonna fly or plan the the flight later after the stream but probably somewhere northwest of this airport around an hour uh flight from tuxla so uh, hey mother Becca, welcome black never mind i forgot because i remember the day of my birthday with my look of yeah it was august 18 i checked as well i remember it was august the same month when fall guys came out fall guys came out in that was august 4th if i I remember it correctly so uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator came out a week or two weeks after that yeah, yeah so I think Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 will be around the same one hopefully so we can still enjoy Microsoft 2020 more MSFS 2020 more after that nah, we're gonna buy again we're gonna be poor again for, for 2020 <laughs> but hey if, if you love aviation then it's it's gonna be worth it um, cool so that's it um again we are simulcasting on five platforms so we don't simulcast on black anymore i tried simulcasting on the new platform which is the ombre platform so our the five platforms where we are simulcasting right now are blue purple red green and ombre so if you still haven't followed me on my other social media accounts you can check out the bio 
here uh my my bio rather and access my link space uh, you can check you can access all my social media accounts from there so please please don't forget to support uh please also support the rest of uh, all other uh, streamers who uh, dropped by um tonight captain rami 777 on the purple platform please go ahead and check out his channel as well they always keep saying release it now and they keep saying it's going to be the end of the world <laughs> release <laughs> It's what that happened on the really. Dala na kaya ko ano yun. Correct. Correct. Mother Becca. Okay. So that's it. I think we're good. Um I, I for the for those on the blue platform, I'm just gonna show the result. Unfortunately I can't say the result live due to the new TNCs of the purple platform. So just if, if you're on the blue platform you can check it out there. So that's it. Um we're gonna stream probably later tonight. Uh, we're gonna stream Fall Guys. It's still on the on five different platforms, so um, probably I'll see you. Uh, Saturday we don't have a stream. I have somewhere to go to. Uh, it's gonna be my nephew's uh, birthday, so we're gonna go to um, his birthday party. So, uh, and right now it's officially December twenty second. That means three more days before the Happy Holidays. <laughs> So, uh, advanced happy holidays, everyone. I will be on vacation. Probably, I'm gonna stream on the 26th, maybe. 27th to the 29th, I can't because I will be on vacation. I will be back on the 30th, but I'm gonna attend another holiday party. Holiday party, whatever. So, maybe 31st. You can stream on the 31st. I'm not sure. I, I just have to figure out my schedule and uh, post it probably on Sunday. But anyway. Cool. Thank you, Mod Rebecca. Akala ko talo ako. That's in this. Okay, that's it. So again, thank you everyone. Let's try to raid someone on the purple platform. Let's check if Kerotin is still live. He actually dropped by earlier. So he mentioned that he'll be going to Korea tonight. So let's check him out. Wait. Well, we can't raid anyone on the blue platform anymore. So let's just raid someone on the purple flat platform rather. There, he's playing Microsoft Flight Simulator and he's doing a Jeju to Incheon flight tonight. So let's go ahead and raid him for those who are on the purple platform. I'll go ahead and send you over to his stream after we end ours. So let me just make sure that it's here. A London controller is also online. Ah, but that's fine. We'll raid the Kerotin. He's doing a VR stream. Cool. Okay. We'll go ahead and send you over to his stream after we end ours. So that's it. Uh, anything else that I forgot? I think we're good now. Maybe. <laughs> anyway. Make switch switch style ako dito mo ads. Oh! Ads where? In in the red platform? Really? Busy na ang <laughs> Correct. I'll be busy uh, this coming holiday. But anyway. Thank you, thank you, Mod Rebecca. Thanks for uh, dropping by and uh, namiss, namiss ka namin dito. <laughs> but that's fine. Yes, finish na. Sama ka, raid natin. Let's read the keratin. So cool. Thanks everyone. Um... I'll see you later for fall guys but for now let's call it a night but of course before we go always remember play hard but still play safe and most importantly play responsibly so once again my name is Borge and this is Borge Gaming Channel now signing off till next time mga beshubap matane